to Oscar De La Hoya. He will have to get in line, though. In the meantime, tonight, though, IBF junior welterweight champion Kostya Zhu will be busy with Leonardo Moss. To learn to fight on the rugged streets of the Bronx before refining his skills in the gym and uh, going on and to, to much success in the ring. He's had his setbacks, though. Moss hasn't seen anything like Kostya Zhu. A five foot six inch stick of dynamite. Zhu learned to fight in his native Russia, continued boxing in the Soviet Army, and loved it. He says the nerves on edge feeling before a fight like this and the adrenaline rush of slugging it out can't be beat. That's exactly what Zoo is feeling now. So let's go to Jim Lampley, Larry Merchant, and George Foreman at ringside. All right, there's a good look at Leonardo Moro Mas. See the Moro, that's the nickname written there on the robe. Record for Mas, 23 wins, two losses, no draws, 15 KOs. His first appearance ever in a championship fight. The fighters' records are being brought to you by The Ring, the Bible of boxing. And as you know, if you know Spanish, the last name translates to more, so the job here for Kostyazu is to find a way to reduce Mas to Menos. Kostantin Zhu from the Ural Mountains of Russia. 18 wins, no losses since he went to Australia and became a professional fighter. 14 knockouts being showcased now in this country. His big hope for a chance to meet Oscar De La Hoya, but as Nick Charles said, Zhu will have to get in line for that, and he'll also probably have to chase De La Hoya up to 147 pounds because that's where Oscar is headed if he wins tonight against Miguel Angel Gonzalez. Tail of the tape, this battle between Leonardo Mas and Kostya Zhu, and you can see that Mas is one of those taller junior welterweights, 5 feet 10 inches tall. They both weighed in at 139, and here's the oddity, although Zhu gives up 4 inches in height, he has a three-inch reach advantage, so you got two very different physical styles in there. Rules of the bout with the inimitable Harold Letterman. <laughs> Leonardo Moro Mas Kostya Zhu fight is scheduled once again for 12 rounds. There is no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight, and you cannot be saved by the bell at any round, including the 12th and final round. Jim. The fabulous fight judge pharmacist, his Haroldness. Let's go into the ring to Michael Buffer. And now, ladies and gentlemen, top rank incorporated along with your undisputed, undefeated king of beers, Budweiser. This buds for you. Present by way of Caesar's Palace World Championship Boxing. 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Junior Welterweight Championship of the World. This bout, of course, is sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission and the International Boxing Federation. President Robert W. Lee, IBF supervisor ringside is Robert Weitzel. The three judges assigned to this bout, scoring on a 10-point system, will be Chuck Jampa, Bill Graham, and Ray Wheatley. And when the bell rings, the man in charge of the action, your referee, Joe Cortez. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trimmed with white and red letters. He weighs 139 pounds and brings an outstanding record of 23 victories. With only two defeats, 15 KOs, he comes to us from Dorado, Puerto Rico. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger, Leonardo Moro. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing black, trimmed with white, and weighs 139 pounds. A native of Russia, but now living and fighting out of Sydney, Australia. He brings a perfect record of 18 and 0, 14 by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the undefeated IBF Junior Welterweight Champion of the World, Kostya. Okay, gentlemen, we went over the rules of the dressing room. Ya vi la regla de Camerino. Quiero una pelea limpia. I want to go to me and fight. Take hands. Go lock the ball. Zoom's father is Korean. His mother is Russian. They all live in Australia. And here they are in Las Vegas. And Moss was raised in the Bronx. 
moved to Puerto Rico when he was 15. And he is here in Las Vegas. What a game. Australian fans have adopted Zoo as their own. They celebrate him wildly down under. But he says, sure, I love Australia, but I'm a Russian. I'll always be a Russian, and I should be seen that way. Left-hand shot in close wait, by wait, Zoo as they're oh, wait, wait, hugging here, against each here. other. And I Leonardo Moss looks at Joe Cortez yeah. Give me three fight. and asks Let's for go. exactly that. I think Moss did the right thing. You get out there on this guy who's supposedly so tough, and you attack him and let him know, hey, I'm somebody too. Leonardo Moss is a natural southpaw who fights out of a conventional stance, just like Oscar De La Hoya. So just as is the case with De La Hoya, his most effective punch is his left hook. In fact, of his 15 knockouts, 14 of them came with the left hook, and now it's Sue who deposits Moss on the canvas with his own left hook in the first minute of the bout. Seven. It wasn't, I don't think it, was very much. it wasn't a damaging punch. No, it was more of a flash knockdown type punch, but you wonder about Moss's chin if he went down on that. Moss has never been in any big events. Zoo has been in all kinds of international competition as an amateur. He's now a professional champion. It may just be nerves. You asked him about that earlier in the meeting. Was he willing to get out there or make some excuses? Get him out of there. Moss looking for help from the referee again as he believes that Zoo is fouling him, but Zoo just wants to throw punches and land. Yeah, he thinks that Zoo is fouling him by hitting him as they break, but if the referee isn't there to break them up, it's right, perfectly break. okay. Break up, break up, break up, break up. Kind of a rough first round for Leonardo Moss, who's been down on a relatively soft left hook, who's been hit twice by punches that he regarded as fouls, and Kostya Zhu is just saying, come on, let's fight. Hard right hand by Zhu, and Moss grabs and holds. Break, break out, break out, break out, break out. Well, it's easy to see, George, that for whatever reason, Kostya Zhu is relaxed and ready, and Leonardo Moss is a little bit overwhelmed. Yeah, he's sitting there wondering. He's following me. The next thing you know, he's getting off the canvas each time. I think Larry mentioned he's kind of nervous out there tonight. Second knockdown of the first round. No three knockdown rule in effect. And now goes down a third time at the end of the round. And I thought what happened there was as the punch went into Moss's eye. Now the round has finished. Cortez is making Zhu stay in a neutral corner while he takes a look at Moss. There's been no penalty so far. He seems to be concerned maybe that punch was land at the same time as the bell ringing. You heard the referee say he was going to give Moss five minutes because he got hit on the break, and I thought the glove might have creased into Moss's eye. No, 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 no. Meanwhile, Ratner asked, Mark Ratner, who's chairman of the Nevada State Athletic Commission, he asked Joe Cortez, the referee said, had the bell rung. Cortez said, no, the bell had not rung at the point of this. I think the referee is being a bit too generous this time. Now he's holding his right jaw as if it's broken or, or seriously hurt. He's indicating to the referee. At this point, it doesn't look like Moss can or wants to go on. You're right, he doesn't want to fight anymore. Well, and if this punch broke his jaw, I mean, come on, that's just a little half left hook in there. Yeah. He wants out of there, and I think that's the reason he was on the canvas in the first place. And year. he's asking for the doctor to look at him. 
So here comes the doctor to look at Leonardo Moss. And it looks pretty clear that Moss isn't too anxious to continue the fight. You see him wincing every time the doctor touches him there on the jaw. Very discouraged young man. Perhaps his jaw and certainly his dream shattered here at the end of the first round. His jaw, he won't continue. Yeah? Okay. Okay. What would a night at the fights be without one of these? All right, Mark. Okay, okay. The doctor's stopping it, so. Okay. Let me try to tell him. You see, you. Now, Harold, I have to ask you, this may be called an accidental foul. What would the ruling be? It looks as though if Mark Ratner calls it an accidental foul, you don't get a score until the after six rounds. So, therefore, if it comes either with no contest or a technical decision, you know, same uh, technical draw, rather, no contest or technical draw, so, therefore, Tosh Pazoo retains his title, and that's it. There's no way Moss can win the title. Yeah, I think Zoo deserves a TKO one here. He overwhelmed the guy. He's on the ground, man. No, no, he's okay. on the ground. Stop the fight. Stop the fight. The fight is over. The fight is over. The crowd's going to be upset. They wanted to see more of Costa Zoo. <laughs> you know, we haven't used the bad pun yet, but what is Leonardo saying in there? No mind. That's exactly what he's saying. <laughs> And I think Moss was no Moss to begin with. There, you saw a really good, quick, clean, hard left hand, George. Now you, now we'll look at it in real speed. This is a short punch that carried a lot of punch in it, George. Right there. And you saw it did happen while the referee was trying to separate them. Same time, uh, Kaskazoo was not holding. It was not holding them. The referee can't say break. Sometimes you need to get in there. All right, Mark Ratner explaining things to Harold Letterman. Now, what did he go with, Harold? This is going to be called a technical draw because Zoo hit Moss as the referee was trying to break him, break, right. break them. Thank you, Larry. Right, let's go up to so, Michael Buffer for... So Moss did get a break. Yes. Or two. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Referee Joe Cortez has called a halt to this bout. Due to an unintentional illegal blow, the fighter, the challenger, Leonardo Mas, was unable to continue. The physicians at ringside have determined he has a dislocated jaw. He is unable to continue. The blow that caused the damage was an unintentional illegal blow. Therefore, the bout under the rules of the Nevada State Athletic Commission is called a technical draw. Well, let's go up to Nick Charles. 